and welcome to this update video. We finally got the bike rack on. We did it at last. Oh, it's been a long time waiting, isn't it? It's been it's been seven months. We've actually we actually found uh, a friend of ours to do it. Martin, thanks for doing it. And uh, yeah, done a great job. So we've yet to put the bike on it. Well, we did when we tested it, but we've yet to put the bike on it and uh, go anywhere. So this video is a quick update video about what we've been up to, what we're going to be up to, and also things that we've purchased. Only small items. We can talk about a little Truma problem we had and uh, the blind, the ongoing blind problem, which is uh, what we'll move on to straight away. So you remember a couple of videos back, I said I'd been uh, messing around at night, turning this chair around and uh, I caught the blind and it broke it. So there it is there, broke. That part there is uh, what we've ordered, 12 week wait. Yeah, what can we do? It is what it is, it's uh, from Leisure, I can't remember the name of the company, Leisure someone, but a 12 week wait purely because the uh, part is coming from abroad and uh, there's delays. As we know with all parts lately, there's delays in everything. So uh, once it's done, once it's here, I'll film us uh, trying to put it on. But for now, we just, you know, I can still use it, it's still functional, I can still close it, it's awkward, but uh, you know, we can do it. And of course we've got the the screen that we can use anyway so yeah i'll update you on that one as and when and then to my surprise i got a, a nice phone call from uh, dave at vantage saying that uh, he'd seen the vlog and he'd be uh, willing to fix it fix the blind for me so i thought well that's a result but i think i think we ended up mutually agreeing over the phone that uh, it'd be cheaper for me to buy a whole brand new fiat ducato door with a pre-installed remis blind than it, than it probably would be for me to put fill the van up at two quid a litre and drive to Leeds and back 400 mile round trip. So it was a nice gesture and I do appreciate it. Uh, moving on, the mat, yeah, this mat here. We get asked a lot in a few videos, people have commented and said where and asked where we got the mat from. So actually, okay, we bought it two years ago from the Peterborough Motorhome Show. And uh, I'll put the I'll put the link in the description below to their website. It's called a Morocco mat. It really is. Uh, it's done us well. We we liked it. But if you're new to motorhoming, make sure you do get these. These are like grippers. And uh, let me just show you. Here's one I made earlier. So we've got like a little uh, peg there, and these these just grip the mat like that, and then you slide it in, and then peg it down. There's a lot of people get into the habit of just banging the peg in straight through the mat. I've done it, loads of people have done it, but it ends up ruining the mat. It was 40 quid, by the way. But yeah, these are a handy little thing to get with. I'll put a link to them as well. I think you can get these on eBay. Um, but I'll have a look. Uh, yeah, what else did we get that we're pleased with? Oh yeah, these little... Now I know a lot of you use um, car seat covers anyway, or seat covers. And we have done in the past but these things here have come in really handy these are only like a tenner and they do we've seen these on ebay but not in that color that we wanted and but these also were found at the show i think they're a 10 or 12 pound each me and uh kirsty have got one. Oh, there's the label for that mat the morocco mat morocco moroccan matting.co.uk yeah well it's got a nice little pocket little, little storage pocket there and they um they fit in the back there <laughs> nice and easily like that so that just slots in the back and then stops it coming out like so yeah so that's the that's the we like it we like that you know the other thing was the uh yeah this, we bought the screen cover as well 
um, a black one. It's really nice. It folds down nice and small, which is what I like about it. But um, I did say, actually, Kirsty wanted a black one. I wanted a... They do a nice grey colour, which is really nice. But I'd ask the lady, don't um, black absorb heat. Because that's what I thought. Don't black absorb heat. But she said, no, the properties inside the mat uh, reflect it. And um, keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter, which is exactly what we want. We bought these little wraparound covers. They're Just a bit elasticated. Well, they've got little bits of fluff stuck on them. Yeah. They're... Just to protect the... Um, you know the actual seat covers and yeah. rather than having throws on them these are quite thin easily washable and yeah. they dry really quick yeah it's just an extra thing to protect from when the dogs get on there really yeah and we was lucky to get the pretty much color near enough yeah, color yeah. they they did do a range of colors um we're getting from light box i'll put the link in the yeah, description light box. because so these, I... we've got uh two mediums and one large for the back one yeah and they literally just stretch round yeah like i think what we'll do you can get um things to clip either end yeah um just to keep them tighter because mm. obviously when you sit on them they move but you can get these metal clips that clip on that side and that side if we've got two for each brings them together yeah well i'll find them on amazon um yeah so you know, lately we haven't put any videos out. We've been very busy. I've been very busy at work, not been going anywhere, hence not being able to do many videos. So sorry about that. But we are going away next week. It's Kirsty's birthday and we're off to a um, funny place, really. No, somewhere we've never been before, North Norfolk. <laughs> I know we said we we're going to get the smaller vans to go to different places, but at the moment, Kirsty wanted to go there. It's her birthday. It was her choice, so... She enjoys being on the um, beyond the cliff tops there up in North Norfolk. It, it, it is nice, as you know. You've seen all the videos, and we'll probably be doing another one. That is in um, early July when we'll be there, and we're looking forward to that. What have I said? The seat covers, the the mat, uh, all relevant links will be in the description below. Uh, the, the screen cover as well. This is the Polar Polar one. I can't remember the Polar something. But yeah, we really like it. I just like the fact that it folds down really compact like that and can almost fit anywhere, really. Uh, yes, the Truma. When we was away at Herman Fest, we woke up one morning where it was really, really cold and the heater never kicked in. We had the gas on, everything was working fine. Um, we previously uh, just couldn't work out what was going on. Just never kicked in when it dropped cold but it was hot in the day very hot but actually i'll say thanks now to trev at posh cats and and chaz smiley who helped us out with this little uh problem but um the problem was it weren't throwing up a code and that's what we couldn't work out no code at all but the heat weren't kicking in and then we kind of thought that it's something maybe to do with where the van was parked say sideways as we are now but the sun was facing that way and it was really hot when I put my hand behind the blind, it was like an oven. The temperature sensor is there. So we think it retained the heat through the night and was throwing off the wrong offset temperature, if that makes sense. Um, no, it don't make sense, does it? And it still don't, to be honest, because it's working now. It's working fine. There's no problem with it. But I just wondered why it, why it never kicked in. And, uh, yeah, I'll put a little insert here when Trev came in and uh, we tried to figure it out. Um, having Truma problems, <laughs> so I've had to drag Posh Cats in to help me out. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, so we've got no fan. Everything seems to be working. The boiler seems to be working. I've got hot water. Um, yeah, all the display is showing good, it's just you're not getting any warm air, but yeah. it's so hot outside that it might be saying, no, nah, you don't need that. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. The vents um, are not blowing. The thing is, there's no internet, so we can't look online. Exactly. And, that in the, and you haven't got your manual. No. Which we don't, do we? No. We don't look all those <laughs> books, do we? No. No. Oh, well. Um, here we are. We've got hot you. water, which is amazing. Yeah, we've got hot water, but no yeah. fan. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, it could be a fan fuse. Yeah. So, uh, watch this space. Watch this space, indeed. Uh, who knows what that was all about, but uh, it's working. You know, it's working now, and there was no code, so I don't understand why. I think it could have been that, um, where the temperature sensor's on the wall there, and it was, it was keeping the heat throughout the night, and then not coming on 
in the morning because it thought that it was warmer in the van than it actually was, if you know what I mean. Something like that. Anyway, so yeah, that was it. Qu quick update. Uh, thank you again for watching the video. And next one, we'll, we, we will be going to uh, Wells, Pinewoods, of course, and again to the Laburnum campsite, which is on the cliff top there, right in between Sheringham and Cromer. I've done probably three or four videos from there before, if not more, but we absolutely love it there, purely because of the location um, and the beach. Uh, the dogs love the beach, as you know. So, yeah. Uh, that's all there is to update at the moment. There's nothing else been happening. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.